Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Libra for November 2010. And this also applies if you have a Libra in Ascendant. So my fellow Librans, your emotions have certainly been going up and down lately. You've been questioning yourself. <laughs> Not that you don't question yourself all the time. Shall I, shan't I? Did I? Didn't I? I know that's going on, but that's still going to be the backdrop of many things this month. Many of you, um, I think some of your self-confidence has been dented. And with Saturn in this first house, Saturn in your sign, you're having to reinvent yourself again. Many of you are having to start a new career path or you're having to find ways of developing what you have into something new, into something more interesting, into something that gives you that deep personal satisfaction. But it's certainly going to still be ups and downs emotionally. This Saturn gives you a feeling of um, feeling restricted some of the time, as though you can't, you're not quite free to do what you want to do, and even then you're not quite sure what it, exactly what it is you want to do, some of you. So th there's going to be a degree of uncertainty, but a degree of you feeling your way. Now Venus is in your sign for some of this month, but she is retrograde until the 18th of the month. So anything connected with your finance and your relationships, try not to act on any decisions until after the 18th. Before that, reflect on your finances, get them in order, and also on your relationships. You may have a completion of a relationship to attend to, or it may already be complete. The writings may be on the wall, and maybe you just need to accept it and take that in. That may well be happening to many of you. There's gonna be a huge focus this month for you Librans on earning money earning your money, your self-worth, your self-values, what's important to you. It might be a time to reassess what's important to you. What are your priorities in your life? Is it your career? Is it your satisfaction with what it is you're doing on a daily basis? Is it your family? Is it your home? What is it? What are those priorities? It's time to shine a light on those priorities, Librans, and then start living according to those values. It's a really good time for putting energy into making money, for putting uh, your thoughts into it. We've got Mercury there and Mercury is in Scorpio. So really thinking deeply, taking some time out to think deeply about what it is you want to do to make money here on in and to go beyond the superficial and to go very deeply into that. We've got the sun there, so it's gonna energize you. You're gonna feel energized, and with Venus there, there's a possibility of some money coming to you. This could be a really good time for earning some money for you this month. It may have been choppy. I know many of you are looking for full-time work and maybe not finding it. This is you being um, more proactive yourself and doing something that can bring you money. So it could be just a contract, it might be temporary, it might be just an idea you've got, but it's acting on that idea and really going for it because the planets are with you to take it forward this month. We've got a lot of planets in your third house of networking and you're a great networker. This is social. This is about visiting people, making short trips, networking online, doing something with a computer, maybe getting some extra software, maybe doing some training, maybe learning something that will help you promote yourself better. But it's certainly, certainly social networking would come under this, but how can you link this to earn you money? This is gonna be a big focus for you. Also, you could be involved in teaching and training other people or in learning yourself. This would be a great month for taking a course. It could be a short course, but just something in a subject that you enjoy that would extend your skills so that you become more marketable in what you do. If you write, this is a great month for writing. Wonderful month for any kind of writing or communications and getting it done because the energy is there with you with Mars in that house. You're gonna be helped along to actually get the momentum going so that you actually get things written on a consistent basis. So this would be a good month to do it. A lot happening in the home, family, security area. Yeah, we know that's changing. That's a long change, but you are learning how to take more control over your security, your stability, not to rely on a partner so much, but to rely on yourself more. And um, this is gonna be changing for you. And you may find that this whole area, you have to reinvent yourself once again. Much is happening in this house of work. 
um, you will find that it comes and goes. It's not going to be stable all the time, it's going to be changeable with this Jupiter Uranus in this sixth house of work. You're also going to have uh, times when you feel full of energy and full of ideas, but watch you don't burn out. Watch that it's just not too much on your nervous system here for you. So there are going to be some good opportunities for earning money this month, or at least putting into place some of those wheels so that you can earn money moving forwards. Just don't be rigid as to how it looks and use that very creative energy you have with all these ideas you have and more networking, more connecting. Don't be shy to reach out to all kinds of different groups because I think you're going to get more of a positive response than you might anticipate. So there you are, Librans. I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you to so many of you who write in with your $25 one question that I answer in an email of up to 150 words. Try and be as specific as you can. The more specific you are about the question, the more specific I can be about your answer. Or you might just want a personal reading yourself, 10 minutes, half an hour, an hour, whatever it is. Please take a look at my website. I'd be delighted to hear from you. So thank you very much for listening and I wish you a great month. Bye for now.